The topic of this video is using a graph to determine where a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. All right, let's begin by looking at this graph. We're going to travel along the graph from left to right. So we're going to start at this location, and we're going to note the x-coordinate at each location where the graph changes from one category to another, increasing, decreasing, or constant. We begin here in the first category, constant, because we're not going up or down. And we note that the x-coordinate of our starting point is a negative 3. We travel flat, constant, until this point, which has an x-coordinate of negative 1. This gives us our first interval. We are constant from negative 3 to negative 1. We write this as a closed interval. So bracket negative 3, comma, negative 1, bracket. As we now leave this point, we begin decreasing as we travel all the way down to the point with an x-coordinate of 1. It is true that as we travel through the origin, the slope of the line changes, but it is decreasing on either side, and therefore we do not pay any attention to the point with the x-coordinate of 0. We simply note that we are going from an x-coordinate of negative 1 to an x-coordinate of positive 1, and this is our next interval of decreasing. So we write this as a closed interval, bracket, negative 1, comma, 1, bracket. As we now move beyond this point with an x-coordinate of 1, we find that we are constant again. We are constant from here to here, and the second point has an x of 2. So we are now going to have a second interval where we are constant, and therefore we need to use the union symbol, joining with our new interval, 1, comma, 2. And again, brackets on both sides. Finally, as we leave this point, we find that we are increasing until the end, and the final point has an x-coordinate of 3. So we are going from 2 to 3, increasing, which we represent as bracket, 2, comma, 3, bracket. These are the intervals where we are increasing, decreasing, and constant for this graph.